and they're off in the Sand Springs. From the center, catch a glimpse, breaks right on the money, but so does the favorite Celestine, and these two get acquainted early as they run past the finish line the first time. Leparu will rain catch a glimpse back to race in second behind the speed of Celestine. So Ortiz, offensive-minded, and Celestine leads the way, floats all a little bit wide into that first turn, so catch a glimpse had to go three wide. Ice Festival is now racing in third from Ronto Slowly in fourth. Down at the inside, it's Tila from fifth and always thinking, and the trailer is the gray Lori's store. Separated by six lengths in the run to the back stretch, and Celestine leads by a length. On the outside, catch a glimpse. It's a bit closer second. Two and a half clear of Ice Festival, who runs third. Then Rontos Lily in fourth. Tila down at the inside is fifth. Always thinking is second last, and trailing the field is Lori Starr through the opening quarter in 23 and 4. They race to the half mile pole, and the two principals in the wagering are 1 2. With the lead, Celestine three parts of a length. On the outside, it's catch a glimpse in second. Two and a half clear of Tila, then Ice Festival. Festival in the two path. Lori Store has moved up two spots ahead of Rontos Lily, and from between them, Ori's thinking as they round the far turn. Celestine and Jose Ortiz have the lead past the quarter pole. They're drifting wide off the second corner as well. That'll give Catch a glimpse of shot on the outside. These two, two and a half better than Lori Store, and they're into the stretch now. And up top, Celestine still has the lead. Catch a glimpse trying everything she can to get after the leader second, then Lori Store and always thinking, but inside the final furlong, Celestine will be sharp in victory. She'll take them all the way and win it by two and a half. Catch a glimpse second. Lori Store third, always thinking fourth, then Ice Festival in 134 and two.